is a, a photocopy of the Irish Citizen, the paper of the Irish suffrage movement that was first produced in 1912. And this is a really historic um, edition because this is after the 1918 election which elected Constance Markiewicz as the first woman to be elected to the Westminster Parliament. So that's the first page, but here inside we have the congratulations to Constance Markiewicz, who was still in um, jail at this time in England because of her part in the Easter Rising. Now, women like Christabel Pankhurst also stood for election in England, but didn't get elected. So the editorial says, bravo Dublin, and it starts, Dublin leads in feminism and deserves congratulations as the only place that elected a woman candidate during the recent general election. All the British women candidates were rejected in spite of the admirable record of many. And so at the end it says, and now it is Dublin also that returns the first woman member of parliament, bravo Dublin, hail to thee Constance in thy cell. That's a little quotation from a poem by George Russell, um, who also is a, a northerner. There's a great illustration to the piece, which is Constance Markiewicz posing as Joan of Arc. And this was um, a, a, a suffrage pageant, and uh, they had all these um, living tableaus, as they called it. And she made her own um, outfit. Hannah She Skeffington talked about the fact she made it all out of cardboard, which she painted silver and was up all night looking at um, historical illustrations so that she could get it just right. And she made such an heroic Joan of Arc. And then four years later, in her Citizen Army uniform, was at the heart of the Easter Rising.